In problem number 7, we have f as a function such that the second derivative of f is 6x plus 8. We want to find f of x if the graph of f is tangent to the line 3x minus y equals 2 at that point 0 comma negative 2. So it's important to remember if we have some curve f of x and we have a line tangent to it at some point, that at the point of tangency, not only do the tangent line and the curve share the same x and y value, they also have the same derivative. So the tangent line is 3x minus y is 2, which has a slope of 3. And what that tells you is at the point of tangency, which is at 0, negative 2, the derivative is 3. The slope of the tangent line is 3. The derivative is 3. So f prime of 0 is equal to 3. We're going to need that piece of information. So first, we want to find the first derivative from the second derivative. And we're going to do that by integration. And so we know that f prime of x is the integral of 6x plus 8 dx. So the antiderivative of 6x is going to be 6x squared over 2, which is 3x squared. And the antiderivative of 8 is 8x, then plus c. But we know that a f prime of 0 which is 3 times 0 squared plus 8 times 0 plus c has to come out to be 3. So in this case, c is 3. And finally, we can say that f prime of x is equal to 3x squared plus 8x plus 3. Now, that's not the uh, an answer to part a. We still need to get to f of x. So we still need the integral of that. So we want the integral of 3x squared plus 8x plus 3 and that antiderivative is 3x to the third over 3, so that's x cubed, plus 8x squared over 2, or 4x squared, plus 3x, then plus c. Now the question is, do we have any information about, the? do we have a point on the curve f of x? And we do, that's the point 0 comma negative 2. So we know that f of 0, 0 cubed plus 4 0 squared plus 3 times 0 plus c is equal to negative 2 and therefore c is equal to negative 2 here. And finally we can state that f of x is equal to x cubed plus 4x squared plus 3x minus 2 and now we have the answer to part a. In part b we want to find the average value of f of x on the closed interval from negative 1 to 1 and that average value is just given by f of c in the general formula is equal to 1 over b minus a times the integral from a to b of f of x dx and so it's the integral divided by the interval and so in this case we're, the interval is from negative 1 to 1 so we have 1 over 1 minus negative 1, which is going to give us 1 over 2. Integral from negative 1 to 1 of x cubed plus 4x squared plus 3x minus 2 dx. So we want the antiderivative of x cubed. So we have x to the fourth over 4. And I didn't need that parenthesis there. Then I'm going to have 4x to the third over 3 and plus 3x squared over 2, then minus 2x. We're going to evaluate that at 1 minus evaluate it at negative 1. So it's 1 half, and I set up my parentheses, and that's just 1 fourth plus 4 thirds plus 3 halves minus 2. That's going to be minus 1 fourth minus 4 thirds plus 3 halves and plus 2. So the one-fourths, we simplify across expressions. The one-fourths will go away, the three-halves will go away, and the twos will go away. And so we'll simply end up with one-half times eight-thirds, which should be four-thirds then. And so sorry, there is a small mistake in here. So it's definitely one-half times the four-thirds minus negative four-thirds, which is eight-thirds but then I'm going to get minus 2 minus positive 2, so that's going to give me a negative 4 in there. And so that was 4 thirds minus 2, and so that's going to be negative 2 thirds. And that's the final answer for that, for part B.